Hey guys, Brent from Topo Ranger. How's everybody doing out there? Today, we are outside of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and we're going to be checking out the Goodway Sycamore. So why is this tree called the Goodway Sycamore and not something else? Well, reportedly, it's named after a local man who is buried around here. His name was John Goodway. In 1920, there was an article that was published that claimed this tree was planted in 1795. Now, I'm not an expert on tree size or sycamore trees or, you know, looking at a tree and saying, hey, this is this tree is going to be between, you know, 100 and 125 years or in this case, planted 1795. But just judging from the, the size of this tree, uh, I don't see why it couldn't have been planted in 1795. There's another tree down in Lancaster, another sycamore tree down in Lancaster, which was uh, based upon what I've read is, is uh, upwards of 340 years old. So. I mean, this is just an old, old tree. Now, one thing that I noticed right away, because that's just what I do, is I, I noticed there was a hole here, and sycamore trees are known to uh, hollow out. In a, their trunks are known to very commonly be hollowed out. So I saw this hole right here. So this hole is in the tree. It's not, it's not in the ground, although there is dirt down there. Um, but I'm gonna put my hand in here. I can feel cold air coming out. And there are other holes along the root system here. There's one here, big one here, right? And let's just put that up in there. Yeah, I can. Yeah, there's a hole. <laughs> I don't know what you call it, a tree cave. There's a there's a whole tree cave. Look at that. There's a whole there's a whole little passageway under there that you can access by these holes and there's another one I thought there was another one over here yeah, here it is and here's another one see this one here now this is something I've never seen a tree do before I mean I've seen trees with you know hollow hollow trunks I can feel cold air here too I mean, look at that. Here, I'll stick my hand up on there. Hopefully nothing bites me. There's my arm. Up to my elbow, right? I mean, that just goes back in there. Let's walk back a little bit. And look at it from a distance. So the spread's 153 feet. It's 108 feet high. There you go. I can almost fit all of it in the frame right here. Sycamore trees are some of my favorite trees because of what the bark does and also the way the branches grow and the way they look. They're all knobbly and um, and they just grow in a very interesting way. And there's also this thing that happens with sycamores and I'll zoom in on it when I get the other camera out in a second, that I've never really seen in other trees, at least around here. And that's, you get this, you get this green drip. It almost looks like somebody went up there with a can of like army green paint and dumped paint on the top of the branch and then it slowly dripped down and you get these lines. See those lines there? Those green lines? And their bark is just very interesting to look at because it's got that white, it's got that army green, and then it goes brown, and then lighter grayish brown. There's many different layers to it, it seems like. See, there's the underneath, the white popping through.
All right, guys, we're back and we're gonna probe this tree. Sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? See anything up there? All right, this is the this is the right hand passage. Okay, let's try this again. Now I have the light pointing up, so we're gonna try to see if we can see directly up the trunk of this this beast here and uh, see if it's hollowed out. Bear with me on the shaky uh, camera work here. about as far as I can get it. What are you guys doing under there? <laughs> so uh, we took a look inside this uh, big tree and yes, there are hollow spaces uh, all throughout it. So I wouldn't be surprised if they go up pretty high. That's why we're feeling that cold air come out of that hole right, right on the other side, all right? I found this tree using a website, I think it's called pabigtrees.com and they have a listing of all the big trees in Pennsylvania. Uh, it's a really cool website, go check that out. And that's gonna wrap it up. As always, love having you guys along. If you have fun on our journeys, please hit subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and follow me on all the platforms, all right? All right, this is Brett for Topo Ranger, signing out.